A robot known as Val 2.0 could be the answer to our housing shortage woes. Developed by a company called Horizon Legacy, the robot is already working to build a series of townhouses near Kingston, Ontario. This is what it looks like. It's also filling a much needed gap in the construction industry. For more on the future of this work is Neung Nguyen, the CEO of Horizon Legacy. Welcome to the show. Hi, good morning, Emery. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm curious to know more about what Val can do. Uh, what specifically is this robot doing on construction sites? Well, to, right now, Val is on the construction site in Gananoque, and she's building the walls of a 26 unit townhouse complex. And she is building this um, <clears throat> with a team of five people, and it's going to be the first and largest neighborhood in Canada using an on-site uh, robotics strategy for construction. And how does that improve conditions on the work site? What are you seeing? Well, um, it's changing the nature of the job so that um, you know all the manual, repetitive, boring parts of construction, um, she's taking away because she's very strong and uh, she can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, she doesn't need the rest. And she supports the team uh, so that they can focus on, you know, the brain, uh, brain work, thinking work. Um, they are doing engineering, programming, planning. So it's changing the nature of the construction job. Uh, and it's good that you mentioned the word job because, of course, the number one things people are concerned about is that this robot does it. How many jobs or how many people jobs or people on site does it replace? Uh, so right now we have a severe shortage of construction workers in Canada. Uh, we have around 300,000 construction workers that will be needed in the next decade to build all of the homes that we need to build. And we've got in Canada also a major productivity challenge and a housing shortage. So what Val is doing is allowing us to keep the existing people that we have but giving them the tools to do more so that we can build all the homes that we need to build. My understanding is, but correct me if I'm wrong, that it cuts the number of people to build an exterior wall, for example, something laying concrete like that could do from 20 to five. So where would those other 15 jobs then be dispersed to? Well, those jobs will be uh, moved to the other parts of the job site because we need more people to be in construction. So uh, they're going to be doing, uh, you know, the foundations or the roof or the windows. Uh, we need all the people we can get in construction right now. Uh, the Canadian, the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation reports that we need to build, as we know, 3.5 million homes by 2030. We are running out of time and these For homes sure. need to get built. What kind of a role does a robot like this play in addressing the shortage? Well, what we can do is um, robots can be used to supplement the labor shortage. Uh, it can be used to do and take away the manual, repetitive, boring tasks. Uh, robots are doing, uh, they're great at doing the three Ds, what's called dull, dirty, dangerous tasks. Robots can also be used to uh, improve health and safety on the job site and make the job more interesting for young people. Um, for many, many years, we've had a lot of difficulty attracting young people into the trades. And we think that with robotics, it will attract people to want to work in construction again and to love building again. And that will help, you know, help our country build 3.5 million homes that we need. What's the cost of Val? Uh, she's... Uh, she. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that private if that's okay. Um, we spent a couple of million dollars uh, on research and development and testing to, to develop Val. She's a proof of concept stage. Uh, just like any technology over time, we expect that she'll be more affordable. And even right now, the, the units of houses that she's building, um, it's very competitive and comparable to traditional cost of construction. So we're able to build the homes at around $300,000 per unit. Very affordable. Listen, everybody, every province, every town is looking for solutions to this housing crisis. Speed might be one of the things that we need to improve. I want to thank you for coming on today. Thank you so much, Emery. If you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.